Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this lesson on how to write a pie chart essay. Using this five-step process to plan and write pie chart essays will help you to achieve a high mark in task one. First, you must analyse the question. Second, identify the main features. Third, write an introduction. Fourth, write an overview. And fifth, write the detailed paragraphs. In this lesson, we're going to work through each step as we answer a practice question. And I want to start by highlighting the importance of steps one and two. It's essential that you learn how to do this planning stage properly, if you hope to write a high scoring essay. Before we start, here's a model essay structure that you can use as a guideline for all academic task one questions. Ideally, your essay should have four paragraphs. Paragraph 1 is the introduction, paragraph 2 an overview, in paragraph 3 you should write about the first main feature and in paragraph 4 you should write about the second main feature of the pie chart. We now have everything we need to begin planning and writing our essay. Now here's our practice question. The chart below shows the reasons why people travel to work by bicycle or by car. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. The format of every academic task one question is the same. Here's our practice question again with the words that will be included in all questions highlighted. Every question consists of sentence one which is a brief description of the graphic sentence 2, which is the instruction sentence, and the graphic itself, which might be a chart, graph, table, pie chart, etc. Sentence 2 tells you what you have to do. You must do three things. Select the main features, write about the main features, and compare the main features. All three tasks refer to the main features of the graphic, so you do not have to write about everything. Just pick out two or three key features and you'll have plenty to write about. The graphic in pie chart questions should not be difficult to interpret. Each question is being created to test your language skills and not your mathematics ability. Pie charts always show percentages or proportions. Apart from that, they're essentially the same as bar charts and line graphs in that they're a way of presenting data visually. Remember, all you're looking for are the main features. These will usually be the easiest things to spot. There'll be lots of information in the graphic to help you identify them. Here are some useful questions to ask. What are the units of measurement? What are the time periods? What can you learn from the title and any labels? And what's the most obvious trend? Are there any notable similarities? Pie charts generally have titles and labels, or sometimes a key instead of segment labels, as in our practice question. The key explains what each segment of the pie chart represents. I give more detail on how to use these questions, plus downloadable checklists for identifying the main features of all seven different types of IELTS Task 1 questions in the lesson on how to understand and analyse task one questions. There's a link to it in the notes below this video. So what information is contained in our two pie charts? They show two different methods of travelling to work and illustrate the reason why people choose these types of transport. And what main features stand out? Well, there are two main features. Main feature one is the largest proportion of people who cycle do so for health and environmental reasons. And main feature two, the highest percentage of people who drive do so because it's comfortable. Another notable feature is that the only reason included in both pie charts, which is that the method is faster, shares almost the same proportion for both modes of transport. We may not have space to cover this final feature, but we'll note it just in case we need to make up the words. The key features you select 
will be the starting point for your essay. You'll then go on to add more detail. However, with just 20 minutes allowed for task 1, and a requirement of only 150 words, you won't be able to include many details. We're now ready to begin writing our essay. Here's a reminder of the four-part structure we're going to use. Paragraph 1 is the introduction, Paragraph 2 the overview, in Paragraph 3 we'll cover the first main feature, and in Paragraph 4 we'll write about the second main feature. First the introduction. There isn't room to include the graphic on each slide, but if you want to refer to it as we work through the four paragraphs, bring up the pie chart lesson on my website ieltsjackie.com, where you'll be able to see it. The link is in the notes below. In the introduction, you should simply paraphrase the question. That is, say the same thing in a different way. You can do this by using synonyms and changing the sentence structure. For example, the question, the chart below shows the reasons why people travel to work by bicycle or by car. And the introduction, the two pie charts display the key reasons why people choose to either cycle or drive to work by percentage. This is all you need to do for the introduction. In the second paragraph, you should report the main features you can see in the graphic, giving only general information. The detail comes later in the essay. Here are the key features we picked out earlier. I've added the third one I identified as it will fit well in the overview. Main feature one, the largest proportion of people who cycle do so for health and environmental reasons. Main feature two, the highest percentage of people who drive do so because it's comfortable. And main feature three, for an almost equal proportion of people, their chosen method is the fastest. Now form these ideas into two or three sentences with a total of around 40 words. State the information simply using synonyms where possible. No elaborate vocabulary or grammar structures are required. Just use the appropriate words and the correct verb tenses. For example, our overview could read, The largest proportion of people who cycle have made this choice for health and environmental reasons. Whilst the prime advantage of driving to work is considered to be the comfort of travelling by car. Notably, for an almost equal proportion of people, their chosen method is the fastest. Paragraphs 3 and 4 of your pie chart essay are where you include more detailed information about the data in the graphic. In paragraph 3, you should give evidence to support your first key feature. Don't forget to make comparisons where relevant. Here's our first main feature again. Main feature one, the largest proportion of people who cycle do so for health and environmental reasons. And this is an example of what you could write. Taken together, health and fitness and less pollution are reasons given by over half of all people who prefer traveling by bike. Each represents a 30% portion, which is double the next most popular reason which is a lack of parking issues at 15%. For the fourth and final paragraph, you do the same thing for your second key feature. I've added the third main feature again, as it will round off the essay well. In an exam situation, I would include it if I had time. Main feature two, as a reminder, is the highest percentage of people who drive do so because it's comfortable. And main feature three, for an almost equal proportion of people, their chosen method is the fastest. And here's an example of what you could write. A different set of concerns has affected the decision of those who choose to commute by car. Comfort is by far the most significant factor at 40% of people, but distance to work is a more important concern for just over a fifth of drivers. For 14% of people, a faster journey time is the key factor, compared to a figure of 12% for cyclists, who find their means of transport quicker. I just want to say a quick word about verb tense in this sample essay. 
Since there's no time frame given in the question, you could use either the present simple tense or the past simple tense. I've used the present simple tense. Whichever tense you choose, remember to be consistent throughout the whole essay. Here are the four paragraphs brought together to create our finished essay. Pause the video and read through it so that you can hear how the four paragraphs flow from one to the other. This sample pie chart essay is over the minimum word limit, so you can see that you don't have space to include very much detail at all. This is why it's essential to select just a few main features to write about. Now use what you've learned in this lesson to practice answering other pie chart questions. Start slowly at first and keep practicing until you can plan and write a complete essay in around 20 minutes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Goodbye for now.